Hello, this is Lisa Huning of The Shifting Path. I'd like to welcome you to What I Wish I Knew. And in this audio series, I am talking to people who have been or are in a caregiving role for their family member. Today, I want to welcome Wendy Hoffman. Wendy will be sharing with us her search for geriatrician for her father who had severe dementia. Wendy, thank you so much, and I really appreciate you being here today. Oh, I'm happy to share my experiences. So I wish my father had had better medical care and that I'd been able to find a good geriatrician, someone who specializes in the care of the elderly. So the doctor that my father had for most of his older years was very old school, and his specialty was infectious diseases, and it wasn't obviously what my father needed. Besides, he was very gruff. He cut me off if I asked too many questions, even when my father was hospitalized. My father had dementia and was now depending on my sisters and me or his daily caregivers to advocate for him. So in cases like this, you can't have a doctor who resents having to take the time to talk to family members. I think that's really a lesson for all of us. Our medical needs change as we age, and we should always try to find a physician who specializes in or at least has the special interest in um, our unique medical needs that come with our age group. Fortunately, I found a doctor for my father who was certified in geriatric medicine, and I convinced my father to switch to her in the last few years of his life. Believe me, it wasn't easy finding a geriatric doctor these days. My dad lived in an area where there are a lot of retired people, and she was the only geriatrician within a 50-mile radius. Ideally, I would have also added a physician who practices integrative medicine or even a naturopathic doctor to his team. These kinds of practitioners are familiar with alternative therapies to prescription medicine, and I think my father would have been much better off without so many meds. These doctors also seek out the root cause of a problem rather than just treating the symptoms with a drug. For example, my father was given a steroid for late onset of rheumatoid arthritis, that eventually caused severe osteoporosis and painful compression fractures of the spine, which in turn required surgeries, which then, of course, weakened him. I'm wondering, could another less powerful anti-inflammatory medication and diet work just as well in controlling or preventing flare-ups? I think it certainly would have been worth a try. I've since learned of pharmacy consultants who review the medications that someone is taking. This is important for elderly people who are often taking six or eight more pills daily. I don't think most people realize that physicians don't know that much about medications other than what the pharmaceutical company salespeople tell them or that what they read in the company's literature. So they're not really aware of the harms they cause, just the benefits. And sometimes the harms do outweigh the benefits. Pharmacy consultants look for possible interactions that may be harmful and they can also suggest less expensive versions that are available. For example, often doctors prescribe the latest, most expensive pill that's just come out when an older or generic version does the same thing at at a less cost. Let me give you an example of how one of these kinds of experts could have helped my father. A doctor friend of mine, a psychiatrist, asked me what meds my father was on. I told him that he was on the Exelon patch, which is supposed to slow the progression of dementia. He was really surprised. He said, maybe Exelon helps improve early-stage dementia by 10%. Maybe. But why is he still on it at 86 of age and at such an advanced stage? It was also costing more than $300 a month. So we stopped putting the daily patch on him, and within a day or two, he was like a different person. He was more alert, cognitively sharper, and his appetite was back. His caregivers noticed it, as did my sister's, and I. So this drug was hurting him more than helping. So I think it's worth reconsidering how we look at our doctors, no matter how old we are. One all-purpose doctor for decades really doesn't work. We know that deep down. That's why, in addition to our internist or gynecologist, we also seek help from a chiropractor, a yoga instructor, or even an herbalist. We see them as experts on our wellness team. But somehow that concept gets lost when it comes to geriatric care. So if I had a second chance with my father, I'd put together a team of medical and wellness specialists like this. I do think he would have been much better off. You know, Wendy, I'm just so happy you brought up all of these different issues. Mm. Um, I don't think it's really well.
well known that there are geriatricians out there. And um, I they're the hard to find. They are hard to find, and I have seen the seen the difference with clients I've worked out with as well. And you also speak to my heart, which is the medication management portion of it. And by using someone who is a naturopathic doctor or practices integrative medicine, it can be so helpful to get all of that cleared up and figured out what people really need medication-wise. Um, and recognizing the fact that they can get a little bit better by getting rid of some medicines as well. Yeah, it's definitely true. I happen to have met a pharmacy consultant at like the Boomer Summit years ago, <laughs> years ago, and I gave him, um, at the time he was just focused on individual consultations, and his focus was helping people save money on all these drugs. But he's, I've gone back to his website. He's now, I think, doing this maybe more for employers. Um, but, you know, I think that's probably a growing field because between the amount of drugs, the cost of drugs, and, you know, I'm, I've been learning so much about um, a lot of supplements that could really do the same thing. Like, you know, just taking um, turmeric, cur- curcumin, you know, in a the, in the therapeutic dose, it's an, it's an anti-inflammatory that might have been much better for my father than uh, these wicked, wicked steroidal drugs, you know. I so uh, well, I really, really appreciate you sharing this with others who may be in the beginning stages of caring for their family member and the insight that you're bringing to to them. And I want to thank you so much. I really Oh, you're welcome. It. I'm so happy to have a way to get me on my soapbox about this, believe me. 